Jason Page here from lightpaintingphotography.com. Today I'm going to show you a little bit about white balance, show you how to do a custom white balance on your camera, and how you can use that custom white balance to get some pretty cool effects by changing the color and the hue of your actual image. That way you keep all your images straight out of the camera. So what I'm going to do now is I've got my camera set up. I'm basically going to shoot a red card and I'm going to shoot a blue card uh, to be used as the reference file for the custom white balance that we're about to do. So I recommend using a blender to hold up your red card or your blue card. And basically, if it'll stay up, all you got to do is snap a photo of this real quick. What you want to do, you want to zoom all the way into it so that the, the red or blue card fills the frame because that's the reference uh, that you're going to give to your uh, camera. So there's the red. There you go. Final outcome of this is you want to have a red and a blue. Well, not that one. Alright, so the final outcome of this is what you want. You want to have a solid red frame and then you want to have a blue frame. This way you're going to tell the camera that blue is actually white and you're going to tell the camera that red is actually white, which is going to give a very cool effect to your images. It's going to make them either much warmer or much cooler depending on which one you pick. So check it out in the next thing. I'll show you the pictures. I'm going to go out and shoot some photos and then I'll come back and show you the photos that we used using the custom color white balance. All right, so here we are. We're out here, out in the middle of the freaking woods. It's dark as shit and scary. Um, take a look around if you want. Uh, anyway, out here in the woods, uh, we are going to do the uh, custom color white balance now. Just a little tutorial. All I'm going to do is a simple orb thing. It's going to be really easy. Just orb. I'm going to do three different white balances. I'm going to do a regular white balance, then I'm going to do the, the blue as the white balance, and I'm going to do the red as the white balance. And all three of those are going to give a different effect. So first I'm going to do the regular one, then I'll do the red, then I'll do the blue. So here we go. Okay, once again, like I said, I would never shoot ISO this high. I'm at ISO 800. Normally, you'd shoot 100 um, just so you wouldn't have that grain in your image. But just because I can only shoot 30 seconds just for time's sake on this video tutorial, I'm going to shoot ISO 800, f7.1, 30 second exposure, and a daylight white balance. The next one, I'm going to custom do the white balance for red, and then I'll custom do the white balance for blue. Um, so, all right. Here we go. All right, so that's gonna be the first one. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the menu. I'm going to, uh, or I'm sorry, the menu. I'm going to do a custom white balance. I'm gonna select the image which I shot earlier, which is gonna be the red. I'm setting now the white balance for red. I'm telling the camera that red is actually white. So we're gonna see how different the actually makes the color, okay? So you say, yes, that's what you want to do. Okay, and now what you need to do is on your white balance, here you have to set it to custom. All right, so now the custom white balance is red, okay? All right, so let's see what that did. Now what that does is you're setting it to red, so it's giving it a very blue effect. Something's coming through the bush. <laughs> I'm 
Beat it. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch it. I'm going to do the custom white balance for blue, which should give the image a very red effect. So to go into the menu again, you're going to do custom white balance. You're going to select the image, which will be the red, or I'm sorry, the blue. Uh, I'm going to set that as my white balance. Okay, and I'm already on the custom white balance setting from the white balance menu, so I don't have to reset that. So now I'm going to do this again. It should give it a very red effect. All right, so we have one. Let me show you and bring these in real quick. See if I can get you in here. Uh, let me show you the difference in these. So that's the regular, that's custom to red, and custom to uh, blue, okay? So there you have it. All right, so that's a really cool effect that you can create by just doing a custom white balance inside your camera, keeping all your images straight out of the camera, S-O-O-C, so that uh, there's no Photoshop, no digital manipulation, if you want to get a special color, you're trying to get a special hue, all you have to do is screw around with the white balance a little bit, do a custom white balance. You don't have to do blue or red. You can do any color. You can do orange, yellow, purple, green, whatever you want, and you're going to get some really cool colored effects with your white balances. So uh, just give it a shot, you know, try it out. Let me know how it works out. Please uh, post up your pictures, link to the Facebook, and um, all that good stuff. Thank you.